sending her kids off to college. Mixed emotions. So I have, in the last week, taken my third child to college. And it was an interesting experience, very different from the first two. And if you would like to hear more about that story, I will be telling it in just a few minutes. Good afternoon and welcome to Real Life with Andrea. My name is Andrea and I have a story to tell. Everyone has a story to tell, uh, but here I'm sharing my story. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that notification button so that you can be notified when I do upload new videos because if you have been following me, you know that I am anything but consistent. So here is my most recent story. So I have five children um, and they come in three different groups. I have two girls who are um, 32 and 27. I have two boys who are 18 and 19 and I have one boy who is six. So it's like having three different groups. And when I sent my older two girls off to college, it was joyful. Uh, we were living in a very difficult circumstances and for me to get them out of that and, and into um, a better, um, less stressful, believe it or not, lifestyle, um, it really was a joy for me. Um, I Both of them were relatively close to home so we could visit whenever, not whenever we wanted, but they were close enough that you could make the journey for a weekend trip or even really for a day trip if we wanted to and if they needed something. So it was um, not a hard transition and it was a very good situation for both of the girls. They really bloomed and they blossomed and they never came back home, which, um, you know, I, I love my children, I love them being close to me, I love having a relationship with me, but I've never, that relationship's never really been broken, even though they haven't moved back home, and so I think it's been good for them. So now we're gonna fast forward uh, quite a few years, um, as my oldest has been out of school for 10 years, and the next one, eight years. So now we are sending off um, our 19-year-old to college, and we moved him in last Wednesday and it's just so different because we have we have removed ourselves entirely from the negative living environment that we were in and so life has been very different with my last three children that are at home um, not that there haven't been struggles there have been struggles and there have been you know um, some conflict about you know what things had to happen and had to change with our um, new life and so as Eli graduated from high school last year he did not go off to college right away he had you know was kind of considering his options and what he wanted to do and just trying to figure out um, what was going to be the best path for his life and this spring he decided and I think I've shared this in another video to go to Moody Bible Institute which is literally right down the street 45 minutes away an hour and a half depending on the traffic. So last Wednesday we moved him into his dorm room and it was extremely exciting but also very bittersweet as our relationship has changed over the past few years and I, he and I have developed um, um, a somewhat closer relationship um, but also a little bit strained and so while the move is really good for him and for me and for our relationship it comes at a time where I feel like um, I don't know is it a good time is it not a good time who knows but it was sadder than my other moves so he um, he just was funny. We were very excited. We moved him in. All five of the kids were there to move him into a storm room, which was really exciting to see the five kids just still really 
bonding and not um, over the course of time losing that relationship between each other. So everybody showed up for that. And we had a really great day, but at the end of the day, I did not cry when I sent my two off, but at the end of the day, standing there at the glass to the elevator, just, hi mom. And I know he was teasing me because I know he was very happy to be there, but it did make, it did end up making me cry, making me so sad um, at his departure. So um, I am going to visit him right now. That's what I'm in the car for to see how his last week has been and to take him a few things that he didn't take with him that he would like to have. And I am excited to see him and we've talked on the phone several times and he's been his roommate has not come yet so he is a little bit lonely when he's in his room but he's making friends and doing activities and his first day of class was today so I am so excited that I get to go down there and spend a little bit of time very little bit because he has class in a couple hours um, and just see how it's going with him I was surprised at how empty the house felt without him since there are still many people living in the house um, and but his presence is definitely missed one of the things that strikes me as interesting is how different each move has been even though I have sent each one of the children has gone off to a Christian college um, Turn right onto Buckley Road. The environment of Moody Bible Institute was the, even on move-in day, from the students, from the faculty, um, to the sessions that we sat in. Proceed one and a half miles on the current road. They had a dedication service. They dedicated um, all the incoming freshmen to the Lord. It was the most Christ-centered college experience that I have had. And that um, really excites me for Eli, who wants to be in ministry. And um, something that I like I said, have never experienced something that was so uh, family orientated. Uh, I felt very comfortable trusting them with my child, my son, who is not a baby anymore. He's an adult. Um, but just that, that he is going to um, if he reaches out to people and lets them know that he has a problem, that I know that they are going to be there for him as I would be, and um, that they will point him um, to Jesus, which is ultimately just the greatest gift that he or I as his mother could, could receive. Um, So, although that's making me teary-eyed right now, it makes me <laughs> very happy and very comfortable with his decision, even though he is in the heart of Chicago and that he will be going places that, ooh, I wouldn't take him. <laughs> he will be actively pursuing ministry, street evangelism, um, all kinds of things, opportunities that are going to be so good for his faith, in one for building. Mile, turn left his knowledge and his um, ability to share Jesus with other people. Turn left onto North Skokie Highway. Um, what this year and the future years hold for him it just is so exciting um, in my mind. Uh, and I cannot wait to see how this impacts his life. So a little plug here there from Moody Bible Institute. If you are considering sending your child to a faith-based school and they are looking to be in ministry, I, as a parent, I'm telling you that if Moody Bible Institute is just a great atmosphere, um, uh, again, even the students Proceed that we met, on the current road really seem to have a passion for Jesus, their behavior.
behavior, their attitudes, the way that they spoke, the way that they carried themselves. It was all just such a positive experience. And having moved my kids now into one, two, three, four, five, this is the fifth different Christian school, as well as the one that I went to when I went to college. So six different Christian schools, and all of those Christian schools, and they were all good schools. This one was the one that really hit me the most as being Christ-centered in everything that they did. Everything was based around their relationship with Jesus and how that is our purpose here in life, is to be a witness for the Lord, to bring other people to Christ, to uh, to live out a life that um, that is that light for Jesus, that shines that you are a Christian and we know this by their words and by your deeds and when we, oh, just it just was so phenomenal so if you are considering a Christian school for your child oh, put Moody Bible Institute on the list of schools to check out because it was it, it was and continues to be an amazing experience so that's my story about moving my son into college with a lot of extra stuff. It was fantastic. By the way, the food there was amazing as well. Um, and thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there to support me. Share any comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. And